It's Friday morning, April the 22nd, 2022, and it's a pleasure to be able to share some truths with you from the Word of God today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're going to read Proverbs chapter 23, verse 9 this morning. Proverbs 23, 9 says, Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. And the Bible continually commands people to reach out to those who need wisdom, who need truth. But when the Bible talks about a fool and God says, speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. He's talking about a person who has intentionally rejected truth and that's the way he wants to stay. The Bible says in Psalm 14, one of the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. He has consciously made that decision, that choice in his own mind. And this word fool occurs here as well in Proverbs 23, 9, speak not in the ears of a fool for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Why would, why would somebody automatically just despise the wisdom of a person's words? because they've already made up their mind about about what they're going to what they're going to believe about truth and righteousness they're going to reject it and god said they're silly and foolish and they're stupid they're they're stupefied as it were they're desensitized to truth and they've made up their minds they're not going to believe it and so the bible says here speak not in the ears of a fool for he will despise the wisdom of thy words if somebody, and, and it, I'm reminded of Jesus' words in the Gospel of Matthew about not casting one's pearls before swine. If somebody has already made up their mind, they're not going to believe. You're not going to persuade them otherwise. It has been said, an old idiom, an old cliche is, a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. And you could even prove it to him if there was actual literal proof for a person to believe the word of God rather than just accepting what it says by faith. Uh, well, then even if a person has been subjected to literal facts, if he's made up his mind, he's not going to believe, he's not going to believe. And so don't waste your breath, as it were. That sounds a little harsh. It sounds a little cruel. And there are people who will be persuaded of truth but typically they're people who have reserved judgment, who've said, well, you know, that could be, and I'm willing for the Spirit of God to convince me. I'm willing for God to show me and direct my thoughts if, if it is the truth. And if a person has some kind of an open mind, well, then you can talk to them. If their mind is closed, if they've already decided, determined ahead of time, they're not going to believe. There may not be anything you can do to help them. And so this command in Proverbs 23, 9 uh, takes effect that he, God says, don't speak in the ears of a fool, for he will not hear the words of wisdom from your mouth. He will not listen to you because he's already decided, he's already determined what he's going to accept and what he's not going to accept. He's a foolish person. He's, he's very, very unwise if he makes that choice. Ask God to help you to know the difference. Ask God to help you to be effective in the truth from the God's word that you share with others. Ask God to help you to be effective in your witness and to steer you to people who are impressionable, who can be influenced, who haven't already hardened their heart and shut their ears to truth. Seek them for Christ. Love them and draw them to the Lord with every fiber of your being. God's given us a great work to do, and we can actually make a difference in eternity. God help you and bless you today.